I need year's resolutions to wash the dishes. Oh, uh, the drink. <clears throat> yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely giving up the drink. So for New Year's this year, I'm going to give up drinking water because frankly, I've had enough. My New Year's resolution is to find my car. I parked it uh, in the multi-story car park about four months ago. And you know what? I can't remember my license plate. I don't remember the make or color. So I'm going to go to that multi-story car park. And you know what? That will probably be the only car there. My New Year's resolution is 1080p or a fucking I just want my boy back. Welcome back to Dumbracken. To help with accountability for all the townsfolk, we have asked everyone to send in their New Year's resolutions for the coming year. That way we can all keep each other on track to be a little bit better than we were this year and last. Welcome to Dunbracken, where the town slogan is still pending. If you would like to submit your slogan for the town slogan contest, please enter it into the ballot box at Grundle's News Agents. If you already submitted your slogan and then were annoyed at it and burned down Grundle's newsagents in frustration, please come forward and implicate yourself in burning down Grundle's newsagents. Killing one and murdering countless town slogan ideas. Also, our hearts and prayers go out to the Grundle family at this troubling time in their lives. Hey guys. What's up? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Get, you find out what we're doing yet? No, I'm still waiting on orders from command. Cool. Yeah. Quiet week. Have I'm a reckon, quiet month. I reckon has been quiet this month, yeah. It's pretty weird that we're uh, stationed out of here, to be honest. Well, I think they maybe just forgot about us. Command would never forget about what we're, we're, the, we're the SWAT team. They wouldn't. They would never forget about us. But they sent us here into this little town, and they never. It's been a while. It's been a while. So I'm just. I don't want to be a diner, guys, but what if they have forgotten about us? I knew this place is a, it's a hot spot. It's a, it's a hot spot for crime. Yeah, but also, it has been weirdly quiet, too. We're not beat cops, we're SWAT teams. Yeah, we don't, we don't investigate, so like... No, we just get the call, we go in. Yeah. So the, maybe maybe we're just on a one of them big stakeout-type missions. Big we're stakeout. waiting for the big call, Watching you know? Watching everything. And they're testing us by, like, not giving us a brief. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're putting the really... Putting the strain on our minds to see what we do. Interesting. I am itching to repel, to be honest. Yeah. It's like, oh, I just, dude. I'm looking up that big tall tree there and I'm just like, I might just, I mean, I might just go and just repel. I think you should. Gotta keep training, right? Well, well yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been doing 15,000 push ups. Well, yeah. Like, well, every all day. of us can do that. Yeah. I mean, we're all jacked as hell. Of course. We're all jacked as hell. Get, I... get, get your repels on, man. Get, get yeah. up that tree. Okay. Get up that tree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. Maybe you'll see something from up there. Who knows? Oh, he, he actually went. God, he's, he's so limber. He he's so fast. He's so quick. Hey, I'm going to repel now. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh. I came back. Oh, my tree, actually, it wasn't that high. It's just that it's, just it's, just, it's taller than us. It's just an oak. Yeah. They're not that tall. Oh, for the new year, I would... Really like to get to know my cat better. I found him since he was a kitten, and you know what? I don't even know his name. Would you believe it? Like, what does he do on the weekend? Does he have siblings? What kind of movies does he like? And you know what? I don't know where he lives. He seems to hang around around my place quite a lot. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Um, my my New Year's resolution is to to stop feeding the ducks. Um, just it's. It's getting too much. It's got up to 40 loaves a week now. I just, look, it's cost a living crisis. I can't do it anymore. I just, I can't do it. I... I'm going to replace my mother's cactus. She'll never find it. Alright, uh, give me a... Uh, give me a... Sliced chicken supper. Half and half curry sauce, no peas, no onions. And... A portion... What? 
Toy portion, chicken balls, and a massive tub of curry. Hello? Good afternoon. I'm phoning on behalf of Dumbracken Medical Practice. This is the number that we seem to have on file for Nathan. Uh, I was just trying to get in touch with him with regards to his STI test results. So if you pass this message along and get him to get in touch with us when it's convenient for him, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. My New Year's resolution! <laughs> Probably to get out of this burning building! <laughs> Help me! Please! Hurry up! Please! Hello! I've gathered the money you wanted. Well, I gathered some of the money you wanted. I'm not very liquid right now. I only have 187 pounds. I have 120 euros as well. I know you asked for it, but 2,500. And I don't have that kind of cash right now. It's all tied up. Please give me my boy back. Who exactly is responsible for this attempt at taxidermy? Mummy, did you do it? Is the person who did it in trouble? Is Mummy in trouble? I wouldn't say trouble, but... But? The corpse of a glorious beast has been made a mockery of. His face is all wrong, his ears are in the wrong place, and you've muddled up the thumbs and the big toes. I think it's beautiful. Thank you, and you know, their hands are like their feet. So they are really interchangeable. It looks all wrong. There's no such thing as wrong or right here. Me and Jasmine were scared of it, but then Mummy started working on it and made it a lot more palatable for our young eyes. Now, now I'm not scared of gorillas. I'd go into the forest and spend days if I wanted to. The zoo paid you a handsome fee to bring Gerald the gorilla back as close to life as possible because he was our most popular attraction and now very scary very scary it's frightening that was part of the charm come visit the terrifying gorilla you've seen the leaflets you've seen the adverts at the bus stop well as far as i'm concerned this is in fact as close to his original it's, form it's as not, possible he, just because it's far away does not mean he looks like he's doing a funny walk Gerald the gorilla made me cry, so mummy killed him. Excuse me? That's just between us, darling. Sorry, Excuse sorry. me? That's all right. What's... explain? Ch children like to tell stories. We were in the zoo. Oh, go on. Sorry, am I not supposed to continue, mummy? Explain. Explain. We were in the zoo. We were in the zoo. Jasmine's the ball zoo. fell in and, and... The gorilla ate it. It just frightened us both, so mummy took out a shotgun. Mummy always brings her shotgun Everywhere. to the zoo. Don't worry, it wasn't loaded. It was to intimidate the gorilla. But a gorilla didn't flinch. The gorilla went right at me. I had to fight back. It was self-defense. Mommy killed him with her bare hand. She's very strong. You're so muscular. And I attempted to reconstruct him, but some of the injuries were very severe. You killed this town's leading horse attractions, leading attraction, and you accepted money from the trust, put it back together, and made it look... Like some sort of circus freak. I love him. I take him to bed every night. He's very cuddly now. Both me and Roger love him. Don't you want to see these children happy? No! I want to see the visitors who long to see Gerald. Mummy, this man is scary. No. 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 I'm going to point my shotgun at you. Last time it wasn't loaded. And now? Well, you have two options. You can leave and never tell anyone about this. Or you can find out. You saw also how the gorilla looked after the shotgun wasn't loaded, so I don't know if either of your options right now are very good, sir. The shotgun is typically the merciful one. Kill the scary man. I'm... Kill the scary man. Taxi mother. leaving Mommy. now. Make I'm him into walking a big toy towards the door. That we can sleep and, with every night. And when you're leaving, do a funny walk so the children are less frightened of you. Very well. That's not funny. That's not funny at all, Mummy. It's not funny at all. Darling, hold the shotgun. My, uh, 
uh, <clears throat> my New Year's resolution probably to flee. I mean, I go on a holiday <clears throat> and, like, uh, I've had sudden interest in cleaning products and strong bleach and, um, um, and I think, I think the other thing I really wanted, I, I think, I think I just need to forgive myself, really. I think I need to forgive myself more this year and be nicer to myself. My New Year's resolution is to run a marathon. Every time I say that to my friends, they act all surprised and go, Really, Eric? I can't see you run a marathon. And I take great offense at that. I've run many smaller events before. I've run a charity bake sale, I've run a chess tournament, I've run a movie night, and I think I'm up to the logistical challenge of running a marathon. Oh yeah, my New Year's resolution maybe. Hey, Mom, keep it down! I'm trying to record the New Year's resolution! What are you laughing for? kind of be nice. Hey! Shut up, Ma! Jesus! I'm glad you've agreed to take the minutes. That's good. That was good of you. I mean... Someone I, has I could, to do it. Uh, yeah, and I, I won't draw attention to the elephant in the room here. You're the only one with can write. high school education? Yeah. I've got a good memory. We don't have to write it down. John's memory's great. That's how he knows that it was little Simon Smith that did the graffiti. Mm. John, what about when you're not in the neighborhood watch anymore? I'm not saying it's anytime soon. But I mean, I would like to think that we all eventually leave the neighborhood watch. I would want, you know, other people to get involved. This isn't a lifelong dictatorship. And that's the first minute. I notice you haven't written anything yet. I have a good memory. Is that what you said, John? No, you have good writing, that's... No, he said that about himself, and, you know, that clearly made you eligible for this. Well, we need someone with a good memory. I've got a good memory. We can't have seven people with ADHD running around the neighborhood again. <laughs> soon, soon we'll be watching ourselves, forgetting to put on our jackets, <laughs> and trying to catch each other. We can't have another game of hide-and-seek going so wrong. Look, all I'm saying... I, I, Look, I'll write this down as I go. Um, if the jackets weren't camouflaged, it would be harder to lose them. Look, part of the reason we like coming here is because, yeah, we'll have a little, we'll have a little game. We'll have a little, you know, fix the neighborhood, and then we'll play a little. We'll have a little fun. I thought the game was fix the neighborhood. Well, that's part A. Then afterwards, if we've done a good job, we reward ourselves with hide and seek. Hence the camouflage jackets. Mm. Okay, well, I'm writing down that we're going to, uh, at some point, maybe get our jackets from some new stockist. If you're writing this down, can you put it against the second minute, which we're in now? Yeah, oh, no, I know. I know. It's, it's just I'm in, I'm in charge of timekeeping, so. Mm. I've always remembered you as a good timekeeper. Thank you. That's, that's very important to me. It's I've been using my grandfather's watch, and it's never steered me wrong. You have to bring him <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't trust me with it. It's not. It's, one, it's one, fine. But one day. One day it will be mine. One day. <clears throat> right. Right, Grandad. Yeah. I. I. I made this another minute. It's a sub minute. Are you happy? A uh, sub minute is actually a second in professional wow. lingo. I did think if he was going to be here, he wasn't going to speak. Was that? Was that in last week's minutes? Your granddad. Uh, well, John, do you remember that? Was it in last week's minutes? You are the historian. Well, I actually don't remember you writing anything down last week. Well, wow, you, you're holding this again. I had a bereavement. Oh, you, you mean the kid that you hit with your car? Yeah, that's yeah. still someone who was supposed to be that died. You really shouldn't have went to the funeral. Yeah, I thought. I think it's gonna look well in court. I just think you shouldn't have driven the same car to the funeral, didn't and all. And then offered to put the casket in your car and drive it. You said, oh, don't worry. I know usually a hearse is quite big because it takes a large coffin, but this is a child. How big can the coffin be? Come on, give me a second chance. Yeah. I remember this really well. Mm, I said those words. And and, uh, to be fair, you Look, were, at you least were, I have an estate car. It's a slightly bigger boot. And you were willing to do it free of service, which mm. I think should be noted in the minutes. I will also say none of us were really welcome because we promised no more hit and runs. Is it a run if I return to the funeral? I mean, I, I, according to the grieving parents, it is, yes. Mm. I mean, yeah, Jake hit the car, but we all liked it. 
pretty well. So I think the running aspect, we all have to look at ourselves and maybe do a little bit better. Your granddad really <laughs> slowed us down. I mean, he, he, he did, but um, it's 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 just because he was trying to help the child. <laughs> He, he, he can run faster than any of us, but... Um. This is why I think... <laughs> I thought my car seat was a good hiding spot. You're allowed yeah, to you, run away when the seeker comes for you. And you do have those tinted windows. I feel like getting the pacifier was a little much, trying to pretend you were a little baby. Hey, I had a bonnet and I didn't even put that on. Really? Yeah. That's gonna... Again, it's gonna work well for me in court. Just, just to make clear, are you talking about like a, a hat bonnet or your car? Okay, I thought it was the car bonnet. Yeah. No, that was missing already. Yeah. I reattached that for the funeral. Dent and all. Oh. I mean, they know what happened. I surrendered my dash cam to the police as well. Well, that's good of you. Mm, it's gonna count well for me in court. How cooperative you were in that child's death. Yeah, yeah. I helped dig that grave. They repeatedly asked you to stop. Yeah, I mean, though. that's why they think it's premeditated. <laughs> hey, mom. Yeah, yeah. She's she's in the bathroom. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm I'm gonna propose. Yeah. No, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it tonight. Yeah. I, I'm just. I, like she's been in the bathroom for like twenty minutes, but you know it's probably just uh, you know it's, uh, it's one of them nights. You know it's, it's been long. We've been out for ages. Um, but yeah, when she gets back, um, uh, yeah, I just I love her so much. I can't wait to marry this woman. I hope she comes back. I'm just sort of hoping to get this demon out of me. We have sort of become friends, but I think I would like to stop blacking out and then waking up all wet in church for sure. Here, come here to tell you this. My New Year's resolution this year is 1080p. Do you get it? Do you get it? That's pretty good. I don't think anyone else will have done that. Oh, for this year, I'm just gonna speak in auto-tune, yeah. did it for me and I really feel like I would like to would you like to repel? have a turn at repelling up the Go tree did you see anything while you're up there any misdeeds no maybe you'd pick a different tree then oh good idea um I mean I could maybe try repelling up this building here instead oh yeah that could be a good idea that makes sense yeah um okay it is just a bungalow yeah but there might be, still be something you know on what? the roof you, do it. you need to repel yeah. yeah, yeah, can't get, get the practice in okay. can't get real stuff. Um, yeah. here, here I go Was a he got up there pretty quick. Yeah, that was fast. Hey guys, there's nothing up here. Ah, dang oh, it. Repel down. I gotta repel down. Yeah, nice. Huh. Whoa. Huh. Hey. Hey. Wow, that looked really, really cool. That was really cool, yeah. yeah. I really, uh, that really did it for me. Yeah, that was really good. I, I think I'm gonna repel off that dog kennel. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, no one's ever repelled off something like that before. That's sick. Yeah, you gotta keep, gotta, gotta repel. Gotta, 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 gotta repel. Gotta repel, yeah. yeah. Oh, All right, okay. There could be intelligence inside that. Yeah, that's true. That and I could get a vantage point. Is he gonna go inside and outside the dog kennel? Well, there's a window. I could repel through the window. I mean, it is really cool. Yeah, okay. Sick as hell. Okay, I'm gonna climb up. God, he's quick. It was pretty small, though. I'm still right here. No, you st I'm still so impressed. You're, oh, I, I can see was, your agility. Like, that was a fast descent. It's more yeah. of a theater of the mind. You, you made it up that, yeah, that right. skyscraper. And he's jacked as hell. And he's, he's so jacked. jacked. He's so jacked. Okay, I'm going to jump through the window. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, so... Dude. Although I did destroy it all. Yeah, yeah but that was like the, smashing through doors. That's what we do. We're so possible. cool. Yeah. Sick. Although I do feel bad for the dog, but... Nah, man, we've given the dog a lesson. True. Don't fuck with SWAT. Don't fuck, Don't fuck, fuck with SWAT. Don't fuck That's with it. SWAT. Don't fuck with SWAT, man. And if no one in this town other than the dog knows it, 
and we've done our job. You're not feeling any repel number four? No, I haven't, I haven't been outside the surveillance I mean, he van is, and I'm He hot. is our breacher. He's usually planting the C4 on doors. Do you want a breach? You want a breach? You want a breach? Oh, man, I haven't breached in months. You, you got to breach. You, you got to breach. We got a breach. There's a giant, like, security compound there if you want to breach through that. Too big. I was even just thinking of the, the house next door. Hey, Blow in the front door. I think yeah. I even, like, I might go, like, leaving lower. I, I got this Muller corner. Oh, oh damn. Oh, nice. You got to put C4 on like, it? Ease myself back into it. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah start C- small. Well, start put, small. Put some C4 on that. Well, it makes sense because the calcium is for good bones and muscles, and yeah. you're jacked as hell. You're oh, so, so jacked. Jacked. Breach that Mullicon. I'm to breach this Muller corner. I've planted the C4, guys. Oh, oh man. Shit. Yeah. That was so fast. To stand back or should that was so fast. Step, 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 my fingers step, twitching. My fingers step twitching. Step man. back a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready to repel in case we need to. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going back up the street. I hurt. Man, this is getting me so psyched. Oh, you're looking so so jacked. Oh, you're, you're all so jacked. jacked as hell. <laughs> Guys, we're all jacked. We're all jacked. We're all, so we're all jacked. jacked. And let's watch this breach. Yeah, yeah. Don't fuck with SWAT, bullet. Don't fuck with SWAT, bullet. Don't fuck with SWAT. I really wish I had got the yogurt part as well. It was just the corner. Hey, don't put yourself down. It's too small for you because you're jacked as hell. Yeah. We're all too jacked, yeah. Did anyone miss their family? No, man, no, I love man. you guys. Yeah, I love you guys, too. Yeah, I love you guys. You're all my family. Yeah. Swap for life. Swap for, for life. life. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to, uh, to fix the, the, the dog candle. I got home there just last week, and just, I don't know, there must have been some vandals about the flipping things destroyed, and... Uh, I just I'll get get into the tool shop and I'll get I'll get fixing that up again. Like, but just to be honest, I don't know if there'll be any saving it. Like, it's one hundred. It's completely obliterated. It's weird. There was also like a rappel attached to the roof, and that was just sitting there. I don't know if that's anything to do with. But I know that's what I'm going to do this year. Yeah, probably should have learned how to buy that. Yeah, I think think I'll try doing that this year. Um, yeah. Yeah. Back in 1957, we were commissioned to bury mines in a nearby field to prevent a potential German ground force invasion. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. This is about 50 years after World War II, but... We destroyed all our communications equipment to prevent uh, any spies from communicating with the outside world. We did not know that World War II had ended until 1962. And we didn't even know that the Germans had lost until 1967, as it was a German tourist that informed us of the end of World War II, and we had just assumed the worst. Now, I made my money with contracts to decommission these landmines. And for the new year, I feel like I should really follow through on my promise. Or at the very least, fix the fence surrounding the offending area. Back to Dunbracken is created, produced and edited by Conleth McVeigh. For more information in the podcast, including the weekly town newsletter, you can follow us at DunbrackenPod on Instagram. This episode featured Patrick Meyer, Laura Conlon, Kieran Sands, Owen Fox, Eddie Goodwin, Jared Donnelly, Gemma Burnett, and Robert Vaughn. The opening and closing music was created by Connor Mallon, and you can check out his entire album Unearthed on Spotify now. Thank you for listening. We look forward to welcoming you back to Dumbracken very soon. I'll give you my body. Just bring my boy back. Do you ever think that my boy has a father? A father who's lost his wife and his only memory of him is her. Why would he give me my boy back? I've been a good man all my life. I've been kind. I didn't have sex before marriage. Much. I 
looked after my boy as best as I could, but sometimes you just you get distracted. Sometimes you forget about that which is the best thing that ever happened to you. Bring him back, you bastard. I'll fight you. I'll take you on. They say a mother can hold ten cars for her child. Well, if they can hold that, what can I hold? I'm coming for you.